Hi, this is Luke from Stratic. Today I'll be talking about gravity forms and how you can track form submissions by using Google Tag Manager with Google Analytics. Let's get started. You'll need three things to continue. You'll need gravity forms installed on your website and you'll need a form embedded onto one of your pages, such as this book a table page. You will also need a Google Analytics account, one that starts with UA, and you'll also need Google Tag Manager connected to your website. What we're going to do now is create a Google Tag Manager tag that pushes the data layer event when the form is submitted successfully. So from here, we're going to go add new tag. We're going to name this tag gravity form submission. Then we're going to configure the tag. We're going to choose custom HTML. We're going to paste in the JavaScript, which is available on the Strat Stratic tutorial. Uh, there will be a link below if you need that. And we'll select the triggering we want to trigger this on all pages. What this does is listen for the Stratic form success event that fires into the data layer gravity form submission. It also gets the form ID, which is in this case, form ID one from gravity forms. So we're going to press save. Next, we're going to create a trigger. This trigger is going to look for the data layer event when the form is submitted and triggers a second Google Tag Manager tag, which we will create next. So for now, we're going to create the trigger. So we're going to go new. We're going to name the trigger. So in this case, I'm going to call this gravity forms trigger. Then I'm going to configure the trigger. Again, uh, we're going to go a custom event and the event name we're going to call this is gravity form submission, which is what we named the previous tag. And we're going to fire this on all custom events. Click save. Next, we're going to create a second tag. So we're going to go back to tags and we're going to create new. So this second tag looks for the data layer push and creates a Google analytics event. So we're going to name this tag gravity form submission. And then we're going to choose Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. We're going to track an event. For category, we're going to enter contact dash form. The action is going to be GF successful form submission. The label ID is going to be form dash ID dash bracket bracket gf form id close bracket bracket the value we're going to leave blank um, but you can enter a dollar amount if you wish we're going to leave this as false 
and we're going to click enable override this tag and in the tracking ID this is where we're going to put our Google Analytics UA code so if we go to admin on our Google Analytics page we can just copy it from up the top here under property so mine is this don't enter mine, enter whatever your one is. <laughs> For triggering, we're going to select gravity forms trigger. Once all that's complete, press save. Next, we're gonna create a form ID data layer variable so that we can capture the gravity forms form ID. So from the left-hand menu, we'll go variables. And we're going to use the user defined variables and click new. First, we're going to name our variable. I'm going to name, name mine GF form ID. Then I'm going to configure it. This time I will press data layer variable. And I'm going to enter the name GF form ID. Now this is case sensitive, so make sure um, ID is capitalized. We're going to leave um, data layer version 2 and press save. So now in our workspace we'll have uh, four new changes um, and we want to submit those changes so that they're live. So press submit press publish. Here you can add a description of the changes you've made if you so wish. I'm just going to press skip. So now we've published all our changes. Next we need to go to Google Analytics and here we're going to create the goal. So from the admin area which is the cog in the bottom left corner. We're going to go over to the view section and select goals. Next, we will go new goal. We're going to go a custom template, press continue. We're going to enter our goal name, gravity form submission. I'm going to leave it as the default slot. This is my fifth goal. So yours might um, have a different number here. The type of goal is an event. Press continue. Next, we must enter the event conditions. These are really important uh, to get correct. So the category is going to be contact dash form. The action is going to be GF successful dash form dash submission. The label is going to include the form ID So it's form dash ID dash GF form underscore one. So that is because my gravity forms ID is number one, depending on what form you're going to be tracking. It might be two, three, four, etc. cetera. 
I'm going to leave value blank, but again, you can enter a dollar value there if you wish. Leave this as ticked yes and press save. So from here, I've only got the one form, so that's all I need to do. If you want to uh, track more forms, you could create further goals, just remembering to enter in the correct form ID in the label section. Let's test it. So on our website, I'm going to submit the form. I don't have any validation on here, so I don't need to fill it out. Uh, but you'll see that the form has been successfully submitted. So next, if I go back to analytics and if I go to the dashboard, I can go to the real time reports. Firstly, I can check to see if the event fired. So here it says I'm online. There's one person on the website. We can see the category form and we can see the event action GF form GF successful form submission and it's uh, one. And if I head over to conversions, um, you can see we've got our gravity form submission, which is our goal and it's got one conversion. And that's it. Your form submissions are now being tracked in Google Analytics as a goal. Please check out the links below for further information. If not, I'll see you next time.